Okay, have a look at that. See that there? Oh my giddy arm. Right, now, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, yes. Yeah, look, look in the box. Hi right, guys, um, Delroy the Spark here again. I've uh, just arrived at a job where they said um, their sockets keep tripping. Um, I think every time they switch on the fuse, it trips. Don't know if it's an RCD or RCB or MCD. So, I'm going to go and have a look, sit, hopefully film it and let you see. Okay, see you later. Right, so you're saying um, you think it's that double socket there? That's yeah, that it. seems to be blowing. I mean, when it, because I've been, um, I, when I was down here, when it blew last, right. I was, so, like, so, I saw a flash from it. Oh, you saw a flash from it? I think it, I yeah? saw it. I'm pretty sure I saw a yeah. flash from it, yeah. Well, well, the, but so, yeah. what's the situation now? None of your sockets are working. Right. It's, um, what happens when that goes is that the whole desk, the whole of this downstairs, the, the, the main that runs around right. these two rooms. Yeah. Goes. So, at the moment, your sockets are on? Yeah, yeah. Right, so... It has tripped repeatedly. Yeah. So it hasn't tripped since last time, is all I right. can say. So you're it's saying like you think... 36 hours ago. So do you think that socket there is causing the problem? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm, you I'm thinking it's either something, it's either that socket itself, or I'm wondering about whether the cabling underneath has been yeah. chewed. Where's your fuse board? In here and stairs. Oh. And which one's it connected to? Uh, is, is it the one from the right, I think. So oh, this on the, the, the this fuse board here, yeah? yeah? Board, yeah. One, two, three, three, yeah. three four. Uh, okay. I'm so when when that socket goes, does that trip? Does that go yeah, down? That yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, all right, good. L let's um I'll get started and have a look at it. Let's see what the ZS tells us. All right, 0.52. That's all good. Let's have a look inside now. Well, that looks okay, as far as I can see. That looks okay. Can't see any damage. Oh, 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 oh. Look, look, can you see that? See that? Bit of the red, the copper from the red cable showing there. I wonder if that's what's causing it. Have a look at that. See that there? Oh my giddy arm. Right, now, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, yes. Yeah, look, look in the box. See the black in the box there? Have a look. Oh, it's just so it's Have a look. Got, look. got on there and it's been shorting out on the Yeah, box. see that? That's what's been happening, it looks oh, like. Oh, <laughs> I, I pulled this out to have a look at it last weekend and I didn't see that. But that's definitely worse than it was, because so, I'm mean, set yeah. since, yeah. isn't it? That's probably it. That's probably that, the problem. I think that, that's okay, well, let's, right. let's, 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 let's get it sorted, yeah? Right, right. Yeah, after further inspection, it's, it's broken off. It wasn't, um, once you see it go like that, it's best. So what I'm going to do is just um, strip it. I haven't got any of my orange through crimps. I've run out of it. I gave the last few to Marlon. To old Marley. See? Never give stuff away, man. <laughs> you never know when you're going to need it. Now, um, I'll have to use one of them ordinary Wacos. But I like those through crimps. They're good. Anyway, I'll get on with it. Found some of the orange blue um Those orange through crimps in the back of the van. Oh, my God. Great. I thought I'd give them the last few to Marlin a uh, uh, few weeks back. Oh, probably about a month back, actually. But I still need to get some more because they're good. Yep, got the one that I need. <coughs> Go and fix it and um, bring a bit of twin and earth. Be fine. That's it there. I'm going to suggest that he change this socket. See, it's all brown at the back there. I think that's because you got this big, it's so big. Um, it's pushing the wires right against the metal. I think that's what's caused it. So I think I'm going to suggest to him that he change, fit a new socket. You guys who don't know, um, you see that thing there? That That's an extension pillow that they used to use back in the day 
like I think in the 70s, 80s, when um, the box, because look, they've used a shallow box and they've put it right in deep. So all the sock, the screws that come with a socket doesn't, is not that long. So that's what they use, those extension pillars. Obviously nowadays they've got long screws that you can use, but that's what they used to use back in the day. I've still got loads of them in somewhere in my box, I think, from the 80s. <laughs> I haven't used them for years because now you've got all the different lem screws that you can, I've got a choice of different lem screws. Just thought I'd show you that for those who don't know. It's all connected new socket. So let's see what the ZS is telling us. Same 0.51, that's all good. It's all done. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, it should be. I good. think it's very unlikely there's anything else going on. <laughs> Yeah. No, well, that was an yeah. obvious that fault was, that you could yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah. hopefully that's that will cure your problem, yeah? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. No problem, mate. Bye. Right, uh, that's the end of that job. That was an easy little number, no problem. Um, yeah, not much to be said about that. Um, cable um, getting caught on the back of the box there. So simple fault, simple diagnostic, simple job. Okay, see you next time. Hope you got something from it. Uh, thanks for watching.